Right, we have uh, here this particular word problem and uh, it reads as follows. The sum of two numbers is 13. Three times the smaller number is one less than twice the larger number. What are the two numbers? We present this particular problem in a step-by-step -step fashion as follows. Right, we proceed to solve this word problem here and we present a solution. Right, in presenting the solution, we begin as follows and we say let x be equal to the smaller, smaller number. Simultaneously, y becomes the larger number. Right. Like so. And they were able to see that the sum of these two numbers here is uh, 13, and this gives us one equation. Right, and this equation can be transformed, and we can write this equation as uh, y equals uh, minus x plus 13. Let us call this one here equation 1 the first equation. Right, so the sum of, the, of uh, two numbers is 13. We've seen that. Now, three times the smaller number is one less than twice the larger number. Let's analyze that. So now we know that we have the smaller number x and y is the larger number. And we're saying three times the smaller number is one less. Okay, so three times is one less when compared to twice the larger number. So if this is one less, it means that the 2y is one more. And therefore, if you subtract one like this, the two will be equal to each other. And uh, now we can put our equal sign here and call this equation two. And we proceed to then say put one into two, which means that three X equals two Y and Y is, uh, Y is minus X plus 13, right? Like so. This is exactly 3x equals uh, minus 2x plus 26 minus 1, and which actually is uh, 3x equals minus 2x. Right, and then 26 minus 1 is what? It's 25. Right, you bring the 2x to the other side, getting 5x equals 25. Right, and upon careful examination, we divide uh, the left by five. We divide uh, the right also by five, getting x equals five. Okay, so we have x equals five. Okay, now, moreover, and we have that now using, Using y equals uh, minus x plus 13 together with x equals 5, we have uh, y equals uh, minus 5 plus 13, which means y equals what? y is equal to 8. We have got, therefore, at this point, that y equals 8 and x equals 5. Let's do a quick check. Right, to check these answers, we proceed to find the sum of this. We know that x is 5 and y is 8, and therefore the sum is 13. Go well, that x is 5 here, and you call that y is 8 here, and therefore the sum is 13. Looking at... Uh, The following, moreover, right, 3x is the other equation, 
3x equals 2y minus 1. Let's check if the values of x and y satisfy this. x is 5. y is what? 8. Which means it is 15 equals... Uh, um, here is 16 minus 1 is also 15. Okay, so yeah, we're good. So this is okay, and that is all right. Now, this is the result. And uh, we have got the answer to this problem, and we checked uh, both uh, the sum is 13, and therefore also this equation is satisfied, satisfied by the two numbers. And so now we can conclude that uh, hence, Right, hence uh, the two numbers. R okay, so let's uh, we can say the answer two numbers are that so, but yeah, let's uh, put it like this and say hence uh, the larger number. Well, first, let's start with the smaller number because we have the smaller number and the larger number, you can just separate and say, hence the smaller. Hence, the smaller number is x equals 5. And the larger number is uh, y equals 8. Right, we have already checked and confirmed the truth of this. And uh, this obviously is the conclusion. And we have solved this particular problem in a step-by-step -step manner. Thanks everybody for joining us and goodbye to you.